Welcome to our Wednesday devotion. I'm Pastor Tim Gerbing from Christ Lutheran Church in Pewaukee, Wisconsin. Today we consider Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. If you have ever had the wind knocked out of you, it's a pretty scary feeling. You can't breathe. You begin to panic. The thought crosses your mind that maybe you will never breathe again. But what a great relief washes over you when you feel your diaphragm working again and life-giving air is drawn into your lungs. We all know that someday we will stop breathing for good. And it's not something we want to think about. But there is something far worse than taking your last breath in life. The Greek word for breath is the same word as the Greek word for spirit. It's true for the Hebrew language too. So when the Bible mentions the Holy Spirit in both the Old and the New Testaments, it can also be translated as the Holy Breath. Interesting. In Genesis chapter 2, we're told that right after God formed the first man from the dust of the ground, he breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. Now, when I hear that, it reminds me of what Jesus told his disciples when he first appeared to them on Easter Sunday evening. In John chapter 21, it says that Jesus breathed on them. And then he said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Well, in the verse that I read to you from Acts chapter 3, we heard it said, Repent then and turn to God so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord. Those words were spoken by Peter, who was urging his fellow Israelites to turn away from their wrong thinking. Most Jews believed, like most people today, that they could work their way into heaven by themselves by doing good. Repent, Peter said. Stop thinking that way. Otherwise, there will be no time of refreshing from the Lord for you. And the time of refreshing Peter's talking about is the forgiveness of sins and the new life that we receive, uh, that everyone receives, who has faith in Jesus. Now here's where it gets interesting. The word refreshing comes from a word that means to breathe again. Times of breathing again is what Peter was saying. Anyone who relies on their own goodness, thinking that God will accept, accept them as they are, those people are dead. Their good works are worthless to God. They're not good enough to give them life with God. Only Jesus' perfect words, works, are accepted by God. Only his son's works give us life. Without Jesus, sinners are dead to God. They're cut off from God's love. They're doomed to eternity, apart from God, an eternal death in hell. God's solution is, For the sinner's dilemma is Jesus. The Holy Spirit breathes life into us. He breathes the gospel about Jesus Christ into the hearts of we spiritually dead people. He breathes into us faith, which takes hold of the forgiveness that Jesus won by dying on the cross. So with that faith, that spirit-given faith, we breathe life the eternal life that Jesus provides. Don't ever take for granted the breath that comes from God. Breathe in the life-giving words of Jesus' love and his forgiveness that the Holy Spirit brings into your heart, which alone guarantees that the last breath we take in this life is not the end. Thank you, Lord, for the faith we have received from your life-giving spirit. Amen.